In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Naimbag amalem kada kayo amin kakabsat gagayem ken kailian. We celebrate today the 50th priestly anniversary of Reverend Father Isabelo San Luis SVD. It is a wonderful occasion to celebrate the blessings of 50 years of generous and untiring service to our Holy Mother Church through the Society of the Divine Word. Indeed, the vows in the Holy Rite of Ordination is renewed and reinvigorated on this very day. Blessed is he who gave up everything to serve and follow the ways of the Lord. Blessed is he who offered himself for the mission of his spreading the gospel to the farthest bounds of the earth. As the letter to the Hebrew says, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. We are happy and jubilant with Father Bell as he strives to fulfill this ancient text and this sacred oath. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Isabelo San Luis, SVD. We all rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, our uh, viewers of uh, this uh, Thanksgiving Mass or the uh, <coughs> golden uh, priestly uh, anniversary of my uh, vocation as a priest, I invite you all to please uh, join me. So now, let us begin with our Mass and let us ask the Lord's forgiveness for our failings and our sins as we celebrate these sacred mysteries. sent to heal the contrite of Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Dios 
sama ang managkabalin amin. Ketsi ka, apumi ang Jesus Cristo. Pupuktong na anak ni Diyos na apo. Dagiti bas basul ti lubong kasya na kami si ka mangikas kadagiti bas basul ti Awatem ka dagitoy araw-araw-i Si ka si tutugaw Iti makanawan ti ama Let us pray, Holy Father, who by no merit of my own chose me for communion with the eternal priesthood of your Christ and for the ministry of your church. Grant that I may be an ancient, a gentle preacher of the gospel and a faithful steward of your mysteries. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Daytoy ang maibasa ang naadaw iti libro ni Ezra. Ididumtengen ti oras ti panangidaton iti rabii, ti makderak iti ayan ko ang nagladladingit. Siya ruwatak paylaeng iti narabayan apagan anay ko. Nagparintumengak ket inkararag ko ken ni Yahweh. O Diyos, mabainak unay ang mangitang mangitangad iti rupak ken ka. Nagat ngaton ngem ti ulumi dagiti agrurutap abasul mi. Ket tumuknuda sa dilangit. Manipud pay iti tiempo dagiti kapuunan mi. Adu unayen ti basul mi at at taom. Gapu iti daytoy natnag kam iti panakabalin dagiti ganganaet nga ari da kami. Dagiti ari mi ken dagiti papadi. Napapatay Natakawan ken na ita, na italaw kami akas balud. Ket na ibabain kam iti kasta unay agingga ita. O apo a Dios mi. Kinaasya nakam iti apagbiit. 
ket in palubos mo nga adda dagiti makalibas kada kami ken agbiyag asi tatalged iti daytoy a nasantuan a lugar in lisin na kam iti panakatagubo ket inikan na kami iti baro a biyag tagubo kami idi ngemdi mo in palubos nga agtalin na ed kami iti panakatagubo gapuken ka na asyan kada kami dagiti ari ti Persia ket pinalubusan na kami nga agbiyag ken mangbangon manen iti nadadael a templo ken tapno agbiyag kami anatalged iti Juda ken Jerusalem ti sao ti apo thanks be to god madaydayaw ti agnanayon a dios madaydayaw ti agnanayon a dios ipatay ti dios ti dusa ngem mga asi metlaeng ipanatayo iti lubong dagiti natay sanatay metlaanoen iti yuyeng awan makalisi ti panakabalin na madaydayaw ti agnanayon a dios tattao ti israel agyaman kayo iti immatang dagiti pagilian a nangibellenga na kada kayo impakita na iti immatang ti amin a paraswa ti apo ti Dios ken amatayo ti agnanayon madaydayaw ti agnanayon a Dios bigbigen yo ti impaay ti Dios kada kayo ket agyaman kayo iti amin a puso yo idaydayaw yo ti nalenteg nga apo itan okyo ti ari ti amin a tiempo madaydayaw ti agnanayon a Dios uray no agnaedak iti ganganaet a daga iti pagilian Anak kay Belengak, agyaman nak iti apu, ket agsa uwak, ma ipapan iti dakkel, apa nak kabelina? When, sirata ek daytoy iti pagilian, dagiti managbaso. Maday dayaw ti agnanayon a Dios. Iwak siyo dagiti basbaso liyo, agaramid kayo iti na imbag iti imatang ti Dios. Nalabit at taliawen na kayo ket kaasyan na kayo. Madaydayaw ti agnanayon a Dios. We all rise to honor the holy gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On his journey to Jerusalem, Jesus passed along the borders of Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. Keeping their distance, they raised their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he responded, Go and show yourselves to the priest. On their way there, they were cured. One of them, realizing that he had been cured, came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself on his face at the, at the feet of Jesus and spoke his praises. This man was a Samaritan. Jesus took the occasion to say, Were not all ten made whole? Where are the other nine? Was there no one to return 
and give thanks to God, except this foreigner? He said to the man, Stand up and go your way. Your faith has been your salvation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Father Rector, Father Pabs uh, Tagura, Father Vice Rector and Rector of uh, the Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, Father Sherwin, um, the uh, Prefect of uh, our seminarians, my dear confers and uh, dear seminarians, You know, last uh, May 10, uh, Father Flor Lagura celebrated his uh, 50th uh, priestly anniversary. And so now I'm also celebrating my uh, priestly uh, anniversary. Hey, sabi ni Father Flor Akin, welcome to the club. <coughs> um, Somebody came to me and said, uh, Father, you said you are going to celebrate your golden uh, uh, priestly anniversary. How old are you? And uh, I said, uh, well, I'm uh, 76 uh, already. Oh, Father said, uh, you look like you don't, uh, you don't look like 76. Well, I was flattered and I said, uh, what do you think uh, my age is? Sabi niya, well, Father, you look like 75 years old. <laughs> well, uh, joking aside, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, the theme of the gospel that I chose is uh, gratitude. And this is what uh, I would like to reflect with you this Thanksgiving Mass of my 50th priestly anniversary and this is what the Samaritan did did not forget to thank the Lord for healing uh, of his leprosy there's a saying gratitude <coughs> gratitude is uh, the uh, oh Gratitude is the uh, love of the heart. For me, as a Jubilee celebrant, I am thanking the good Lord, first and foremost, for the gift of life, then health, and my priesthood. My grandmother, Sophia Lianes San Luis, was a very pious and prayerful woman. And she always prayed that one of the grandchildren would become a priest. And when I was ordained priest uh, on uh, September 18, 20, uh, 1971, my aunt said, don't you know that your Lola was always praying that you, she would have a grandson as a priest and so now that you are ordained her prayer was answered and you know it happened that it was also her birthday on my ordination day well I was uh, very very happy to think that this was the answer to her prayer at alam niyo po, ako ay uh, nag-iingat din dahil uh, uh, siya ay uh, nagdasal para sa akin. Kaya kung ako ay uh, medyo nag-iisip na gumawa ng kalukuhan, ay sabi ko, ay baka ako ay hilain sa kanyang puntod. So it was some kind of, uh, a kind of uh, protection. 
the Lord guided me to become an SVD priest too. In Lawag, where I was born, there were SVD fathers and brothers working at the Divine Word College of Lawag. But I didn't know them because our house was far from the college and besides, I studied in a public school. It was when my father and family moved to Kalpan Oriental Mindoro that there I came closer to the SVDs because um, I studied in Holy Infant Academy that was run by the Holy Spirit missionaries. And so, uh, Father Tom Cassidy, the um, <clears throat> uh, recruiter of uh, SVD vocations, came to my parents and uh, said, why don't you not give a chance to your son to enter the seminary? And my parents were reluctant and they just said, well, if that is your wish, um, it's okay. But if you go out of the seminary, then do not blame us. So um, I was very grateful that when I accepted uh, this uh, calling and uh, was molded for 13 years of formation here in Christ the King Seminary, and afterwards in our Divine Word Seminary in Tagaytay. I entered as a special class student, undergraduate. We were seven in that batch. However, as we were nearing ordination, we were only two left. And when I reached perpetual vows, my classmate backed out and left the seminary. Kayo po, kaya po, ako lamang ang natitira sa batch namin. At ako ay uh, nagbibiro na dahil ako na lang natira doon sa batch, ako ang naging valedictorian sa batch because I was the lone survivor. However, we were 12 when we were ordained seminarians who came from Cebu, the others, special class students who finished high school from various schools of the north. Of the 12 ordinance, we are only three left now. That is Father Democrito Malasarte, who is assigned in Cebu, the University of San Carlos, and then the second is Father Max Abalos, who is uh, confined, sick, here at the Vili Cristore Retirement House, and of course myself. I'm very thankful to the SBD for sending me to study abroad at the University of Leicester in England, and did my MA in Mass Communications. Above all, I am grateful for what I have I am today as a missionary priest of the SVD. What I've given to the SVD is nothing compared to what the SVD has given to me. I'm grateful to all SVD conferences with whom I work and lived. Well, starting when I was in Cubao, when Cubao was still uh, our parish, and then um, in <clears throat> Legaspi Albay, our Divine Word College of Legaspi, and then the Northern Luzon, in Lawag, in Ordaneta, and uh, also now in the Central Province. I'm thankful for my community here in Christ the King Mission Seminary. And um, I uh, especially uh, am grateful also to uh, Father Pabstagura, 
for your information, Father Pops was our regent in Divine Word College of Lawag when I was the president of the college. And you know, Father Pops was a regent, and many regents have passed through my hands. But Father Pops was the most intelligent, the most persevering, and most valuable player in basketball in among the personal and faculty team. So here he is now, and uh, he is uh, the superior when before I was his superior. By the way, I'm not asking for a favor from Father. No. That's why I mentioned him. But uh, that is the truth. Well, there were pres pleasant remembrances of my life. Not all were pleasant. For instance, when I was ordained priest, that was the peak point of my life. I was overjoyed and excited. That was when I was assigned as assistant parish priest of Immaculate Conception Cubao that was uh, managed by the Society of the Divine Word. I was overjoyed and excited in my first assignment. My parish priest and I were vibes in the beginning. However, when he saw I was close to the parishioners, especially the youth, he didn't like it because he just wanted to say the masses and then stay in our convent. It came to a point that we could not work together anymore. The provincial superior talked with me and said, we have better to assign you to another place, this Divine Word College of Legaspi. I was shocked and very much disappointed. Bakit naman ganito, Father? I'm only five months in this parish and you are going to transfer me? Isn't that unfair? I said, well, bakit hindi na lamang yung parish priest na matanda ang lilipat, sabi ko. Ay, hindi, hindi pwede yan, sabi. Kasi pag ginilipat siya, ay, siya ay pupunta na sa Villa Cristo Rey o retirement house. So because of this, I had to accept with a happy heart that appointment to Divine Word College of the Gospel. But looking back, my dear brothers and sisters, the sad incident proved to be a learning experience for me. The lesson I learned, we should uh, know how to adjust to different kinds of personalities, young or old, pleasant or unpleasant, wise or otherwise. As my former spiritual advisor, Father John Fullenbach, SVD, once said, many times, we have the experience, but we miss the message. In closing, let me relate a story from a religious wise man, a lesson that is very important, especially for us in the religious life. The wise man said, in one of the halls of the seminary, there is a poster which shows two men fishing at the pier in the sunset. And underneath is a line that reads, the secret of success is this, there is no secret of success. In many ways, I guess that is true, he said. There is no one way of acting, no path formula that will ensure anyone that he or she will be a success in life. And yet, this may not be true. If there is anything that can somehow ensure success in life, it can only come from one thing, and that is faithfulness or fidelity. I really do believe he who goes on, that if a person is faithful, 
he or she will be a success. Of course, this success might not mean that he or she will achieve fame or have lots of money or influence or be a person with popularity and will like. But if we really and truly are faithful, we will be real, we will be true, we will be whole. The late Mother Teresa of Calcutta, now a saint, exemplified this value and virtue of faithfulness. When she was asked about her difficult work of serving the poorest of the poor, a man asked her, Mother Teresa, don't you get tired and thought of stopping your difficult work? Aren't you going to retire and also enjoy and relax? Mother Teresa looked at him and said, I was called by God not to be successful, but to be faithful. My dear brothers, let's strive to be faithful to God, to our religious vocation, to our commitment, and faithful to ourselves. Amen. We all rise. God the Father has invited us to be ministers to spread the good news of salvation to all. Let us ask God to make us credible witnesses. Let the response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church may continue to call and send missionaries to preach the good news to all nations and places we pray lord hear our prayer that the christians may be committed to proclaiming god's word to unbelieving and unwelcoming places we pray lord hear our prayer that many people may be attracted to the christian faith through our credible witness we pray Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families we pray Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that Father Bell San Luis SVD who is celebrating his 50th priestly anniversary may be granted good health and more wisdom to continue the ministry entrusted to him by our Lord we pray Lord hear our prayer that the dead may enjoy everlasting peace we pray Lord hear our prayer let us pray also for the uh, prayer intentions of the following Ophelia Ofi Agus Dindin Latore Testung Andrew Hermi Ang Rosie Suntai Christopher Barreto, Timothy Tung, Reggie de la Cruz. Lord God, you have chosen us in Christ to proclaim your love. Make us true messengers of your word through our witness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Na, I am my daughter. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, for the deepening of our service of you, so that what you have conferred on us, unworthy as we are, you may graciously bring to fulfillment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, high priests of the new and eternal covenant, and by your wondrous design, were pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with a royal priesthood, the people he has made his own, but to the brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred mystery through the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word, and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself 
and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Onesto, the clergy, and all your faithful people present here, and our viewers of our live streaming. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, before we pray the Amanamin or Our Father, let us remember that this is on the only prayer our Lord had uh, uh, bequeathed to us. But take note that there is one very important uh, lesson or message that our Lord is telling us. And this is to forgive and to forgive our uh, forgive our sins and also the wrong sins that uh, the wrong young wrongdoings of others the condition of our lord jesus christ is if you don't forgive your brothers then your heavenly father will not forgive you either dear brothers and sisters the condition is rather harsh but this is the will of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is not easy to forgive, but it is not impossible. Let's not bring to our grave our hatred and our uh, vengeance because life is short. And if we do not forgive, then our Heavenly Father will not forgive us either. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Lord.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us uh, offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. With the body and blood of Christ, keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Act of a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Ay, 
siya ako ngayon manunumpa ako ay sa iyo habang bu- let us pray For the glory of your name, O Lord, I have joyfully celebrated the mystery of faith to mark the anniversary of my priestly ordination so that I may be in truth what I have handled mystically in this sacrifice. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good afternoon to all, and most especially to the relatives and friends of Father Bell San Luis who have joined us online. In the name of all SVD priests and brothers, seminarians and staff of Christ the King Mission Seminary, I would like to express our congratulations and best wishes to Father Bell San Luis on this joyous and memorable occasion his 50th sacerdotal anniversary. Father Bell is a confer of many talents and ever faithful to the SVD, very friendly, generous, and kind. After ordination, he was assigned to the Immaculate Conception Paris Cubao, which was still then under the SVD, now the Cathedral of the Diocese of Cubao. After that, he was assigned to the Divine Word College Legaspi as one of the school administrators. After his stint in Legaspi, he was assigned and appointed as president of the Divine Word College of Lawag, where he stayed for nine years. He was well respected and highly regarded by his fellow Lawagenos. Even high-ranking officials of the province seek his wise counsels. When no one dared during the 1986 SNAP presidential election, he took the chairmanship of the NAMFREL. He was undeterred even when persecuted and intimidated by the vaunted Marcos loyalists. I know because I was his regent in the college. Father Bell is health buff, is a health buff, and plays tennis regularly even to this day. In his youthful days, he garnered several trophies in tennis tournaments. He was a recipient of the Tower Award, which is given to a few Lawagenos as a recognition of their outstanding civic contributions and achievements in and outside the province of Ilocos Norte. He was at one time rector of the Divine Word Formation Center in Ordaneta. Then he moved to the Catholic trade. Manila, where he was in charge of the internal and external publications of the SVD Central Province. He was assigned to St. Jude National Shrine for six years. Then he moved to Christ the King Mission Seminary. He must have been here for more than 50 years or so already. Aside from being a teacher, Father Bell is a noted columnist of more than 35 years of the Manila Bulletin and Tempo. He has an MA in philosophy from the Divine Word Seminary Tagaytay and then also went for graduate studies in mass communications at Leicester University in England. He received the following Catholic mass media awards. First, as the main host of the best radio counseling program, Salitang Buhay. He was the host of this program over DZMM for more than 35 years, but the program stopped when ABS-CBN closed shop. Second award, as the best religious TV show, the seven last words of Channel 2. He is the producer of this yearly program for the last 15 years. Third award, 
the highest award given to the by the Catholic Mass Media Serviam Award for a group of SVD media practitioners. Father Bell has been staging the Sunday TV Mass for more than 15 years already and still going through his MCFI Foundation. Last but not the least, Father Bell has established a help a seminarian foundation that helps poor but deserving seminarians. Many have persevered to the priesthood through this foundation and still helping many seminarians, even our own SVD seminarians. Even before the pandemic, Father Bell is regularly helping financially several poor families and individuals. He has a soft heart for the poor and the indigent. So today, Father Bell, on the occasion of your 50th golden anniversary, the entire SVD wants to honor and recognize you for your many contributions to the mission work and apostolate of the SVD, especially in the media apostolate. We wish you all the best, and you are an inspiration for all of us as a faithful, committed, and true follower of St. Arnold, our father and founder. May God bless you always. Congratulations, Father Bell, and let's give him a big, big hand. We all rise. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Lord God, from the abundance of your mercies, provide for your servants and ensure their safety. So that strengthened by your blessings, they may at all times abound in thanksgiving and bless you with an ending exaltation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Jesus.